This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. Patrick, your specialty is elder law. Now, I think we need to define that for our our audience, apparently, don't we? Yes. I mean, people hear the term elder law and they think it's really all about age. And we get phone calls all the time saying, I'm 79 years old and I got a DUI (laughs) or I'm 68 and I want to sue my neighbors. But it's really not about age. Like I said, it's more about uh, specific areas of law that are of particular concern to senior citizens. Okay. So one of the first questions I'm going to ask as a real estate agent is, is, uh, you know, people ask me this all the time. And I first thing I say is I'm not an attorney. And I say this on the show. By the way, on the show, guys, I'm not an attorney. I am. Oh, he is. Patrick is an attorney. Um, uh, so how should they hold their title in, and when they buy the home? Well, I would have to say for most people, uh, a trust is the best way to go. A trust helps you avoid probate. That's because, you know, probate, what it is, is essentially court proceeding that decides who owns your property after you're gone. <laughs> and if your property's in a trust... Trust owns a property while you're alive, and after you're gone, mm-hmm. it doesn't change, so there's no need for probate. Yep. Also, a trust gives you a lot more control over what you do with your property. Well, oftentimes, they'll choose what's called joint tenancy, and that's that's a scary thing, isn't it? It is a scary thing, because joint tenancy, people don't really understand what it, the, the big picture of what it is. People right. know that, well, if I own the property with someone else, and that person dies, I get all of the property, and vice versa. What they don't understand is some of the problems that pop up, and that is it's very easy to inadvertently or intentionally destroy a joint tenancy, and you lose that right of survivorship. Oh. So, uh, and the most typical way is people transfer uh, a smaller interest to the property. And going through probate, it's, it's bad enough that you now you've got a court deciding what, hap- what happens, but it's also expensive, yes. isn't it? Yes, it is. Actually, the attorney's fees for probate are set by statute. Right. And it's 4% of the first 100000 Oh, my goodness. 3% of the second 100000 and it goes up from there. Wow. So if you have a $200,000 house that's going through probate, you're looking at $7,000 in attorney's wow. fees. Wow. Yeah. And then, I mean, compared to what it would cost you in advance of that... Uh... Oh, to, to prepare a trust right. is much cheaper, much easier. People always ask me, they say, well, well, yeah, well, this is a community property state, though, right? Yes, it is. Okay. And that's another way you can hold property is as or you can hold your real estate as community property. OK, but there's a difference between community property and community property with the right of survivorship. Right. See, people assume that because they have the home as community property, when one of them passes, the other one is automatically going to get it. And that's not the case. Ouch. If you don't have that right of survivorship, when one spouse dies, the surviving spouse has a 50 percent share. Right. And the other 50%, if the first spouse didn't have a will, goes to the surviving spouse, but you still have to go through probate. If it does have a will, then it goes through the will. Then there's this one other thing that that happens at the end of a real estate transaction, and our clients get these letters in the mail. They get letters from 18 different organizations helping the people do a homestead. Yeah. Now, let's talk about homestead. Homesteads are wonderful things. They are. What it is, as long as you are living in the home, (laughs) <laughs> you can fill out this one-page piece of paper, send it into the recorder's office with a check for $40, mm-hmm. and what that does is it protects your home against creditor claims, most creditor claims. People don't realize this, but even if you haven't paid your your MasterCard bill and the bank comes after you for 10000 and they get that judgment, they can actually force you to sell your home to get that. Oh, my goodness. But not if you have the homestead protection. It doesn't go. protect you against everything. It won't protect you against taxes. Or the mortgage. Or the mortgage. <laughs> yeah. uh, or, you know, the mechanics lien for the guy who came in and put your pool in. Right. But as pretty much everyone else, you're protected right. in up to $605,000. Fantastic. Now, one of the things about the homestead declaration for people out there who are holding their homes, it's community property, just by getting that homestead protection Uh-oh. in the name of husband and wife you create that right of survivorship oh so okay and i tell people you know That's for great. a 40 dollars filing fee this is the best insurance you can have this has been las vegas real estate now thanks for listening and remember to tune in every saturday at 11 a.m on 101.5 fm 720 a.m kdwn